On one of the larger Philippine islands is hidden a city called Beringen. Its inhabitants are free to travel abroad, but not just anyone from the outside can visit Beringen. You have to be invited there. The island of Samar, 150 miles long, is home to the hidden city of Beringen. Well known to the Filipino citizens there, and located somewhere in the northeast quarter of the isle, it is said to exist in a different dimension. Sailors reported seeing its lights shining brighter than that of any other coastal city. But captains know to steer clear of this port. In times when traditional fishing areas are overexploited, fishermen who wander into the abundant seafood reserves off the shore of Beringen City may be unable to chart a course back home. The name Beringen itself translates as a place to look for missing people. The city is also the dwelling place of those presumed dead. Despite its reputation as a dazzling city of light, it is populated with black buildings, black towers, black streets, and black automobiles. The Filipinos have a saying, if someone offers you black food, do not eat it. You may be captured and perhaps enslaved. The residents of Beringen, sometimes called the Encantos, are human, with one cosmetic difference. Their faces do not have a philtrum. The philtrum is the vertical depression between the bottom of the nose and the upper lip. The Encantos have a comfortable, almost futuristic lifestyle. High-tech dwellings with automatic environmental controls. Luxury cars that drive themselves. And small machines can be seen flying above the streets, carrying messages or deliveries. And apparently, it takes a lot of resources from the outside world to sustain their high standard of living. A cargo ship from Manila docked at the Tacloban port of Samar. The shipment consisted of heavy equipment, bulldozers, payloaders, graders, and dump trucks. When customs examined the bill of lading, the official was surprised to see the destination listed as Beringen City. The whole cargo was sent back to the shipper, but it never returned to Manila. Unofficially, Customs expects this equipment was delivered to its intended destination. Evidently, the Encantos also like our luxury cars. Automobile dealerships on the islands admit to receiving quite a few orders that are fully paid in advance. They deliver a car to a local address where the buyer happens to be deceased. In a day or two, the car disappears. But the dealer knows the car will end up in Beringen City. There's a couple of ways for normal humans to reach Beringen City. Number one, you may enter through a portal. Portals are said to exist in the cities of San Jorge, 
Gandhara, Kalbayak, and Katarman. A portal may coincide with a certain rock or tree, or the portal may be without landmark, providing passage out of thin air in the middle of a field. Number two, you could be the victim of an abduction by an encanto. Number three, you can drive there, but only if you are lost. A taxi was following its route from Gandhara to San Jorge. At about the halfway point, it had already discharged its passenger. That's when the driver stopped to pick up two young ladies. Their destination was off the main route, but they offered to pay three times the amount of his usual fare, so he agreed. The girls climbed into the back seat. They directed him down a road he did not know. In due time, he was passing by a strange city. He turned his head to ask the girls about it, but they were gone. When he looked back out the window, the city too had disappeared. Other abductions are more permanent. The Encantos sometimes take outsiders as mates, especially if the outsider is good looking or attractive. In order that the kidnapping will never be discovered, the death of the victim will be staged by way of accident or by a fatal illness that takes only hours. In reality, the person never genuinely dies, but instead is replaced. The grieving family is left with a body double, manufactured to look and feel like the victim. As a result, some Berean children are born half encantos, half normal human. As young adults, this mixed heritage likes to visit the island's vacation destinations, such as the beaches and the nightclubs. But they strive to keep their existence a secret. One theater in Samar was plagued by paranormal issues where a production called The Barangans was being performed by the Filipinos. Character names that were too close to the truth failed to appear in the printed program, even after several press runs. They solved this problem by changing the character names. But props continued to disappear. Performers fell ill. On opening night, as the curtain was raised, a swarm of bats was released from the wings. Not a part of the performance. After four nights, the show closed for lack of attendance. Four nights, during which, inexplicably, the moon remained completely full. Special satellite images were taken by a Japanese corporation to identify resources on the island of Samar. Somewhere near the hidden city, the pictures recorded a brightly lit tract of land, which was taken to be deposits of uranium or gold. The Japanese then based their ground operations in San Jorge, but the Encantos jealously guard the treasures of the deep forest. Though no one knows what ended the Japanese occupation, it is a matter of record the company pulled up stakes. Instead of leaving with a profit, they were forced to cut short their losses. Incidentally, there are Facebook users who list their hometown 
as Beringen City. Their photographs confirm they do not have a philtrum. Long ago, before civilization, all knowledge was handed down from generation to generation. All knowledge by word of mouth. This tradition continues in the Philippines. Who is to say their oral tradition has less value, has less truth than the commercial dreck with which we in the West are bombarded on a daily basis from every other source, including the Internet and a hundred different stations on cable TV. I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out